Let's take a look this morning at the FTP test execution. Uh, it'll be taking place on Zwift Richmond. Been a while since I've done a video for Zwift. Thought I would choose a workout. FTP test is a great place to start. Of course, the FTP test is a test I say you can't fail. As long as you complete it, then you get a result, and that result is what you use to move forward with your training. So, decided to see how I would do. Um, this isn't to show you my FTP, <laughs> it's to show you how this particular program works. So, you log in, choose the FTP, they're immediately going to have you start out with a 20 minute warm up. Now, I'm not wanting us to sit here for 20 minutes uh, watching this happen, so I'm going to be speeding it up here in just a minute. But as we do that and we go through the speed, you're going to be able to see what happens when you perform the FTP test. They welcome you to the FTP test. They're getting you set up, starting you off at 100 watts. One thing I'm interested in knowing is if that is absolute or if that's based on some information that you put in. So for instance, I put in that my FTP going into this test was around 300 watts. And I'm not certain whether the 100 watts and ramping up from that is based off of that or if that's just absolute. Everybody starts off like that. So they want you to get up 100 watts, start off. They like for you to be within 90 to 100 on your cadence. So I was starting off a little bit fast on the cadence. Typically, you're gonna see when we get to the 20 minute effort that I wanna put out for the FTP test that uh, I normally am on the very low range of that. That's why my blog is called Low Cadence. I tend to turn a low cadence. Here you'll notice as I've been talking, it's gone up from 100 watts to 120 watts. It'll keep elevating this way until you finish this particular uh, part of the warm up. You can see we're now up to 140 watts. And we're moving at about eight times speed here uh, to get us through this section without us getting bored. That's not really boring to do this. Uh, what it takes about an hour and 15 minutes to do this long range FTP. I uh, noticed 160 watts now. Uh, I found I it went by very quickly. Uh, the setup, the experience of being on Zwift, and then just the effort uh, made the time fly by. Maybe not eight times fast, but fast enough. I've been doing FTP tests for some time. Normally I've used the Carmichael approach, which this is very similar to that um, in some of the warm-ups, though the Carmichael test has you do two eight-minute efforts, and then you take, I think it's a 20% of that in order to get your FTP. Other ways that I've looked at FTP is through the built-in Strava FTP. Uh, interestingly, it seems to have come up pretty close uh, to what I've gotten here today on this test. So I'm feeling pretty confident about the test that Zwift has put together here. Okay, we're up to 200 watts and getting down to the conclusion of this. So let's slow down a little bit so we can make this transition. Over on the left side, you'll notice there is a little pointer to the 20 minute warm up. We're getting ready to conclude that. In the front upper bar, you'll notice a countdown, nine seconds, eight, seven, seven seconds. Look ahead and you'll see an arch that appears. That's what you're aiming for. And once you go through that arch, you'll notice over on the other side that the 20 seconds um, at 270 watts has now turned or is, it, is now active and green. That means you are working on a 20 second effort. So this section is gonna go by really fast. So we're finishing that first effort. We're ramping it up now to 330 watts. Each time you do it correctly and you stay within the watt range that they're asking for, you'll notice a star appear out to the left of that particular effort. Here we're moving up to the next one. 
more power it's saying. Now you'll notice my <laughs> my cadence has gone up to 136. This is something that I'm still, I think I did learn to get past this by the time I got to the end of the, the FTP test. But one thing you don't wanna do is start to accelerate with your um, cadence as you near that particular arch that you're ending one making the transition to the second one. I found I was doing that and on the kicker, which is the um, smart trainer that I use, it's in erg mode and it's, if you will pedal, it will bring the power to your cadence. And what I was doing was trying to increase the cadence to increase the power. And that's the wrong thing to do because then the kicker is gonna be saying, okay, we're gonna have you creating this much power at the cadence you're working on. So it took me a little while to get adjusted so that I was able to reach the higher cadence or the higher power numbers they were wanting with the lower cadence. So 126 um, revolutions per minute at around 390 watts is uh, driving my heart rate up. And you can see that at 169. If I hit around 174, I'm in trouble. Uh, it's showing me that I'm getting old I can remember the day when I was, I could go up to 200 watts, I mean 200 beats per minute. And uh, now if I'm 178, 180, I am just tanked. Um, so, hey, that's what happens when you get old. Here we're moving along again, carrying out the 22nd efforts. Here we are again, coming up to the banner to transition to the next 22nd effort. So it's switching you back and forth between uh, higher efforts and lower efforts. Make for some good intervals. A little short for intervals, but not too bad. Now we're getting ready to transition into a longer one, which would be a 180 watt. So they're put you through that to get your heart rate up. Now it's time to bring that down a bit. So we're going to speed it up because it's, again, another five-minute video. We're trying to get this one-hour and 15-minute effort down under 20 minutes if possible. But still giving you the opportunity to see what takes place. One more thing to point out as we are going around is the bottom bar. So you're going to see um, the wattage efforts that you're putting out. Uh, going scrolling across the bottom so all of those 20 second efforts you'll see there in the yellow red pink green but here we go uh, finishing up this five minute getting ready to transition to the next one and I slowed it down here because this is a place where I started working I slowly came through with lower um, cadence and was able to bring the, the cadence down some, not so high of a cadence. So now I'm putting out 330 watts, right around 100 RP, I'm RPM, which is more like what we would be looking for. And you'll notice here, I've gotten it down to 90. So learning how to get your cadence, especially on the smart trainers, that's probably the hardest thing it took me to catch on about doing the FTP test. <laughs> so keep that in mind if you have a smart trainer, especially if you have the kicker, because you will totally spin your legs off if you do it the way I've always done it. So I'm right now, you'll notice one uh, on around 91, 90, 89 um, on my revolutions. That is more along the lines of what I can do. So we're finishing up the five minute. Now notice that was a five minute at 3.30. So we're reducing the power to go and to cool down once again. But going back to that five minutes at 1.30, I had 3.30 watts. Uh, as I was doing that, I, hey, you know, I, I might be able to, to handle this. And I know that in the next session, which is the 20 minute session, that I'm going to have to set my own power. Up to this point, the Zwift workout on the FTP test is telling me what power to use. Once you get up to this next session, 
and a 20 minute real effort to get your FTP, you are going to be setting your own power. The, basically, the only thing you're told to do is to run at a power that you think you can hold for 20 minutes. So we'll be heading toward that. And so that kind of weighed in. That five minute gave me some idea of what I might try for. Now I know that I currently, or up to this test, had a FTP of 300. I at least that's haven't taken a test in a while, so I was kind of guessing at that based on perceived uh, efforts. Uh, so going into this, I thought, hey, let's, let's get that. I'd like to get a little bit higher if I could. And so I set that, and you'll see, I'm aiming for around 320 is what I was setting as my goal. Now we're preparing for the max 20 minute effort. It gives you these little messages to get you ready. We're heading for that arch with fear and trembling. Uh, what would I be able to do to go into this 20 minute effort? Wanting to be careful about that cadence again. So I waited before through the arch before I started bringing my cadence up. It starts telling you what the average is that you are maintaining. And then it's saying, hey, bring it up to what you can hold for 20 minutes. And then something weird happened. I'm not certain if there's something that switches on at that point, but all of a sudden my wattage really went up um, for, I think it was around 600 watts at, at one point. So. I'm not certain what happened there, but it settled down again, and I was hitting around 340 watts, which was higher than I was anticipating and aiming for, but it's, I felt good at 340, so I thought, eh, maybe I'll try the 340 watts and see what will happen. So we settle in um, for the next 20 minutes, and of course we're not going to watch me do the entire 20 minutes at this pace we'll we'll speed it up again but you'll notice down in the bottom right hand where it's starting to show the power at that spike i was talking about starts off and then it goes down and, and evens out now people talk about ftp especially a lot on the zwift uh, riders group on facebook uh, there was this rash of people putting up their ftp scores really uh, FTP is not, in my mind, a comparison. It's something that you use. It's a tool. Uh, it doesn't really matter what your FTP is if you're not using it properly. And it's a baseline. It's to be used for your training. So now, once you know what your FTP is, you shouldn't just stop there uh, and just ride. If you really want to use your FTP properly, then you're going to base your training off of those FTP scores if you want to call it that so as you're doing your intervals as you're doing your over unders and your sustained efforts your endurance rides all of those things you can begin to pace by your power your ftp your functional threshold power getting back to this particular test as i was uh, continuing on through the 10 minute realm and they gave me the message that hey you're halfway done uh, if it's feeling easy now might be time to add 10 watts and i was like no i'm not adding 10 watts this is just hard enough fortunately i didn't have a microphone on so that you could hear uh, me uh, panting uh, there was lots of sweat involved and lots of panting involved and you will notice that I am definitely not at 340 anymore. I'm dropping down, just fighting to keep it above 300 watts. Now, this has nothing to do with the terrain on Zwift because when you're doing this FTP test, the terrain makes no difference. You're in erg mode on your trainer and you're moving forward. Perhaps I should do another FTP test and record it and do kind of very similar thing and do that with... Uh, a dumb trainer, uh, my Cyclops Fluid 2, and see if that makes any difference in how this is carried out. I, I did like the erg mode because I didn't have to think about uh, cadence so much. I didn't have to think about my gearing. The smart trainer took care of that for me. 
Four minutes left, increase your power if you're feeling strong. I was not feeling strong, so I did not increase my power. I could see I was around 314 watts average, and I knew by the time the percentage was taken off on the 20 minutes that I was very close to what my current FTP I had listed before we went into the test. So I was kind of like, no. Um, and so it was, became a battle of trying to keep my wattage up um, so that I could at least do better than the FTP tests I had before. Three minutes going in, three minutes left. Come on, you can do it. Uh, still trying to fight to keep it um, over that 313 average, but you can see it bouncing there and about. It was nice to get the ride-ons as I finished. I guess people uh, were able to see I was finishing up the test. So there were some ride-ons. Even Eric Min popped in to give a ride-on. Uh, so those were encouraging. I wish I could say that they made a big difference in the power I was able to put up, but not so. Now there's something kind of fun here that you'll notice as you get toward the end of your test. The screen begins to change and uh, I guess what it's doing is it's, it's taking you where you almost look like you're blacking out. See the rider there in front of me? He's turning blue. Uh, the screen is starting to get lines across it. Uh, it's, I guess they're saying, hey, look, you're putting out such an effort. You're getting toward the end. Uh, the curtain is coming down. Uh, can you make it? And uh, so I, you notice that, at least if you're still able to breathe at that point. A nice little effect that Zwift threw in. We're down now, um, close to a minute. And I think a, a little message was going to pop up and it's going to say, one minute, give it all you've got. And I noticed Chris Pritchard when he put up his great video, and his is so, so much more fun than my videos that I, uh, probably one of the reasons why I haven't done a video in a while, but uh, he really put out the sprint at the end. So he was sandbagging through his FTP until he got to the end, and then he did the little sprinter thing. Here, I, I don't have that left. I am really putting out about the wattage that I felt I could, especially with the ERG trainer. I mean, had I not been on the ERG trainer and I could shift into the 5311 and just sprint, but the, the trainer would not let me do that. You also notice I'm down around one, uh, around 81 RPMs. Uh, I'm at the end here. <laughs> not just at the end of the FTP test, I am at the end of what I can handle. There you see, he's getting really fuzzy. Am I gonna pass out before I can make it through the banner? Go, put it out, come on, 311. It's gotta be better than that. Oh, we made it, ah, wow. My FTP is now 301 watts. So I increased uh, my FTP uh, by one watt. So all that work just to find out that I was basically where I was. Um, so the erg mode disables temporarily and then kicks back in. Thanks again for the ride on guys there. Uh, and then it's time to do a 10 minute cool down. So we'll be doing that. It was fun. Um, Zwift does make things interesting. Uh, sure beats just sitting there trying to remember, especially when you're doing the um, those intervals, those short 20 seconds. Uh, normally when I'm doing this without Zwift, I get confused. How many, where was I? How many did I do? I, all the workout modes are good to do on Zwift. Those little banners across, the, the list over to the left, uh, kind of reminds me of the list I would put on tape and put it on my top to just so I could keep up with what's going on. Um, but even that I get confused on because I, I'm not able to mark them off as I go. So this helps you with your training, remove some of those anxieties of the methods and just lets you go out there and give it your best. So I'm really encouraged with what Zwift has put together. We've been waiting for these uh, workout modes for some time. 
So glad for that. Thank you, Zwift. And thank you all for watching. Be sure to visit idoitfor.org. Uh, use that on your next big ride to make a difference for somebody's life. And also, uh, swing by, see other videos, as well as some blog posts when I get around to putting them up at locadence.com. So we're going to end the ride here. You'll notice uh, the different, uh, this ride there, 584 watts was my highest. 317 watts for 20 minutes, um, 5 minutes, 342. You can see how I have done in the past. So, for instance, when I'm racing, some difference there. Putting it up on Strava so that it will be included in my Strava efforts there. And that's it. So go out, find out what your FTP is. It's the test you cannot fail.